Hey, this is Justin Loki, associate producer on Shoot Mini Robots, and I'm going to show you some of the neat render tools we have in our engine. This is what the final game looks like, and with the click of a button we can actually change how it's rendered on the fly. The game has subtle outlining to give it more of a graphic style, and this is what it looks like with just that and ambient occlusion. This is what the game looks like without any lighting, post-processing, or the outlines. The game definitely changes a lot by adding those effects. And here's the game with just lights and ambient occlusion. You can see some of the lights are colored, which can help bring out certain tones and moods in a scene. This mode shows the size and shape of lights, which can help us see bugs with lights. This mode shows geometry normals, which can help us see what's going on when surfaces get turned inside out in 3ds Max. The wider an object is here, the more lights are touching it, and the more likely we'll have a performance issue. We use this mode to identify those problem areas. Similar to the light complexity mode, this makes objects wider for each object that's being rendered behind it. We can use this to optimize the number of objects in a scene. Surprising how playable some of these modes are, most were actually made to help us fix bugs, but after seeing some of them, like the outline mode, we actually considered shipping some levels with these stylized render modes as a bonus or extras feature after you beat the game. I turned Walter orange here to make him easier to see. We actually call this the mode Limbo Mode in the office because it makes our Muddy Village level look a lot like the downloadable game Limbo. Hope you liked peeking behind the curtain a bit. Be sure to check out Shoot Mini Robots when it's out early 2012.